Dang. Look what I just noticed. That sucks. Guys, we are saying bye to Quetzaltenango. This place was good to me. Um, crazy, crazy experience seeing that volcano erupt. And it's time to move on. So we're gonna head to the lakes, the uh, infamous lakes that I've been hearing so much about. Um, Atitlan. We're gonna go to Amatitlan and check it out. It's a big girl today. But she fits right through, no problem. Alright guys. Nos vemos amigo. That was a little kid whose parents owned this place and he was kind of working there. It's a good worker. Just carrying up uh, sand up to the roof. They're building a little bit more up there. So he was carrying buckets of sand up just right now. Also guys, we're uh, hoping that that uh, rear tire does okay since I pulled a piece of wire out of my tire, pretty long piece of wire, it's held that pressure so We'll probably find out here pretty soon if it's if it's a drastic leak or what. But oh, kind of looks kind of looks bad already. Shoot. No, it's not. Get paranoid. <sighs> Try to keep an eye on it though.
think this is a part of their business, but. Buenas. What are you doing? Sale. Sí. Gracias. Buenas. Buenas, ¿qué tal? Buenas, aquí. ¿Tiene comida ahorita? Él tiene estofado de red, ah. chorizos ahumados y carne asada. All right, guys. Pull, pulled over on the side of the road. I'm not the only one. This guy over here is doing it too. <laughs> Just to wait out this this water a little bit. It's cold, guys. It's cold. It's like uh, 55 degrees right now. So perfect timing because I haven't ate anything today. And so I saw the rain kind of coming on and I was just looking for a spot to pull over. And so this is a cool little cabin. They do uh, meals here. So I'm gonna get, get some, some food here. También es aquí es su negocio también enfrente. Sí. Sí. Puse mi moto ahí. Ah, sí, se nos, se nos la moto. Okay. Pero si si llega alguien puedo moverlo. Ah, no okay. 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 Gracias. <laughs> sí. ¿Y usted lo cocinó o el señor? ¿Cómo? ¿Usted lo cocinó eso o el señor? Yo. Ah, sí. ¿Está rico? ¿Está rico? Sí. We're going back into the water. We're going back into the water. Just a little bit. But we're going to get wet. And that's when the cameras go to crap. But I think we got about 30 minutes before we pull into where we're supposed to go. So just got some food, it's delicious. And uh, now time to, to keep on keeping on. Look how lush that is and green. It's beautiful. Here comes the traffic stop though. Not a bad place to be in traffic though. <laughs> Not too shabby. Trying to keep this lens as clean as I can for you guys. I know I kind of ruined the video, the last video, because I didn't pay attention to how well the water was rolling off this camera lens, but I gotta research what I can do about that. I was trying to watch uh, some other riders and kind of see what they do and just seems like a lot of people don't really ride when it's really rainy, you know? And, it, and it's not actually super raining right now. It's not a torrential downpour, but it's enough to be hitting the, hitting the lens, I think. Sure is beautiful though. Holy cow. <laughs> I guess this is why there's no off road to get over here because you gotta you gotta cross this stuff. <laughs> and uh no one's really going out of their way to make roads through all that.
There's the lake, guys. I hope you guys can see it. I'm trying to. Really pretty, even with all the fog and the rain. Supposed to be getting close, seven minutes out is what this is saying, but I don't know how much I trust it. This is a map to me. Last time I used it, it was like, you're 30 minutes away for 30 minutes. <laughs> for 30 minutes, it said, you're 30 minutes away. I'm like, oh no, I'm going to get 29 minutes away. These animals don't give up. Some moto taxis. <laughs> wow. Tuk tuks, moto taxis. Moto taxis. So when the bamboo, they sell bamboo, guys. guys we are dropping into town next spot we're gonna explore for a bit what an interesting town it's got like pretty narrow streets but it's not like super high-end touristy, you know, it's just, just small. Turn left right here, Sin Saliva. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I think I found it. We made it, guys. Well, I made it, but uh, now I'm just waiting for a guy to come with the keys. <laughs> kind of a random spot. It's just um, I couldn't find a ton of spots with parking. It's kind of uh, one of the downfalls of traveling with the vehicle is you got to find a spot for it, you know. But normally the motorcycle is a little bit easier. But anyways, just waiting for this guy to get here so to let me in. The rain's coming down, but I'm just glad I wasn't driving in it, I guess. Welcome to Lake Atitlan, guys. I can already tell it's gonna be really beautiful here. Good morning, baby girl. Good morning. I just woke up, guys. And uh, this, is, this, is a, this is a good view to wake up to. <laughs> dirt bike in the house dirt bike in the house. also wanted to apologize for not um, kind of closing off the video yesterday and showing you guys I uh, I kind of just went straight to editing I, and just forgot <laughs> so you gotta get this video, this video out to you guys so I have a little bit left that I'm gonna try to finish up today and then hopefully we can have some free time after that a little bit go get on some boats and uh check out how big this thing is i think it's a pretty massive lake and so i'm just gonna go check that out and um see uh, see what it's like there's another town on the other side that i'm also kind of curious about it's got a weird name panahau or something like that and uh so just look at these fun streets guys too and i actually don't know if this leads to the boats i'm just walking where i think leads to the boats <laughs> so the general direction 
We'll see you uh, later this week. <laughs> Hopefully. We just arrived and that boat ride was amazing. That was like, that was so beautiful. The water is so clean. The water is so clean, which is really confusing to me because it's been raining a lot and I just don't understand how that, that runoff isn't getting into the lake and bringing all this dirt and stuff. It's doing a really good job out here. It looked amazing. So we'll have to see if we can go swimming in it. I was reading somewhere that they don't swim in a lot, but we'll see what's up. Anyways, we're gonna go get some breakfast here in Panajachel. walking along this uh, this river watching all the guys sift or sift the, the fine pieces of sand get all the the thick rocks out so they can do concrete but it's pretty fun it's pretty cool I just <laughs> feel like you get an idea a really good idea for a place if you just walk around sometimes the motorcycle is a little fast you know and you're kind of paying attention to the other things, but when you walk, you can kind of just take it in, blend in a little bit more. Not that I blend in at all, but anyway, it's kind of fun. Guys, soccer game, 10 out of 10. That was epic. Um, I think it was like two rival towns. I asked a guy and he's like, yeah, one of them's from here and then the other team is from a close area, but just like on the other side of the mountain. So, uh, rivals. Um, and now, here is a jet ski that has been converted into a little boat. Little paddle. Yamaha. Looks like here's another one. There's the paddle again, the oar. It's a whole bunch of them.